and they shall be afflicted of them 400 years okay this 400 years here is not talking about america okay it is not referring to us of a all right it's very clear it's not referring those 400 years have nothing to do with, with uh, us of a okay it has nothing to do with the the, the captivity modern day babylon the scripture says this this is a matthew 24 verse 36 but part of that hour says of that of the of the says but of the day and hour of no man no says no n not the angels of heaven but my father only only the heavenly father knows the time of our deliverance only Yahweh knows the times of the time of our deliverance because if you if actually you say you know what America is this, uh, this old 2019 doctrine is bullshit okay it is bullshit those 400 years it has nothing to do with the with, Babel, with modern day Babylon. Okay, Sodom and Gomorrah, spiritual, spiritual as it says in the book of Revelation 11 chapter. Okay, as we'll be no press together, the northern and the sovereign kingdom, in modern day Babylon, the US of A, and those who've been scattered among the nations is, is not referring to that. If that was the case, that would mean that Matthew 24 and 36 should not be in there. They, um, yeah, 36 should not be there, that, that no man know of the hour, no the season, okay. That's madness. We don't know the time, okay, the exact same month. Uh, I said, you know what, in two years time, no matter what happens, according to this prophecy, we're going to be delivered. We have no assurance, not even assurance, we have no, uh, no, uh, no, no time. Okay, time, we're not in control of which time we're going to be delivered, but we, we know this for a fact, measuring the time diligently, the time is very soon to come. Okay, it says Matthew 24, verse 36, part of the hour, and it says of the day and hour, no, no man, no, not the angels of heaven, but my father, only, only Yahweh, Shemash, knows the time. All right, and, and right there it says, well, we shall live with what we create substance. What substance are we living with right now? Uh, because we left with some great substance in Egypt, okay, we left with great substance, silver, gold, cattle, we, we left with a whole lot of abundance of, 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 uh, of, of carnal, so to speak, riches. This is our first Corinthians 15 and 50 says, but I say brethren, uh, flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God, neither doth corruption inherit, in corruption. So it says, flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of heaven so flesh and blood is what what, what, what consists of, of, of flesh and blood the riches the money the cars huh? the, the what the houses okay all these different these different uh, these different carnal uh, uh, things that, that, that are most people are occupied and we're not gonna take these things with us you're not gonna take your bank account with your money your investments with you in the kingdom flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom it says what in genesis 15 it says what it says we great substance we shall leave with great substance here will flesh and blood profit profit nothing okay it says first corinthians 15 and 50 but but this i say preference but that flesh and blood cannot inherit inherit the kingdom of god neither doth corruption inherit in corruption because because these bodies must be changed is a revelation 14 verse 11 because uh, we fucked things up okay we received the, the land and guess what happened we fucked things up the Deuteronomy 28 goes into that we end up messing up that's why we're yet to stay in our captivity because we messed up okay so what substance are we going to live with this is going to it's going to explain it ex exactly what substance we're going to live with Okay, not the substance that is referring for in the book of Genesis. I will open up with Genesis 15. That's ancient Egypt, Mizraim, and we were led by the Spirit and power of Yahabash Mashiach through the hand of Moses. Not America, okay, not, not modern, modern day Babylon.
the self revelation 14 and 13 and i heard the voice from heaven saying unto me right blessed are the dead which die in the lord from henceforth yea save the spirit that they may rest from their labors and their works to follow them our works is what's going to follow us okay Joseph 5 and 11 Okay, rehearsing these righteous acts, them that are delivered from the nose of the archers in the place of throwing water in the lands of our captivity. Okay, that's how we're gonna get saved. Okay, and when we get saved, the only thing that, that's, that's gonna follow us is what is our works. Okay, so faith with our works is what is dead. Show me your faith with our, with our dual works, and I will show you my faith with my works. Revelation 14 and 13 says, And I heard a voice from heaven saying unto me, Right blessed are the dead which die in the Lord from henceforth. Yea, save the spirit that they may rest from their labors and their works to follow them. Okay, flesh and blood can inherit the kingdom, the great substance that is talking about in Genesis 15. That's what happens in the way back then when, when we, okay, left the land of Egypt. We, okay, when the Lord ended up uh, plaguing Pharaoh, Okay, that's then, that's not now. Hebrews 4. Let me close off. This is a Hebrews 4. Let me start at verse, uh, verse 7. Because uh, this is not our rest. We, know, we are seeking rest right now. And the rest is going to come, as it says in Thessalonians. First Thessalonians, the Bible, the fourth, the fourth chapter speaks about meeting the Lord in the air. That's the next okay deliverance that we're waiting for okay and the substance is going to be what is going to what because it's going to be the works that's why the lord says we labor labor what to enter into the kingdom okay make use of, of that of the of the of the of the di uh, different uh penny okay that, that has been granted unto us we are all we are all working for the same price okay hebrews 4 and 7 says and he said it says hebrews 4 and 7 again he, he Again, so like Hebrews 4, 4 9 says, and there remains the uh, rest to the, of, to the people of the Most High. Okay, Micah 2 and 10 says, Well, arise you and depart. This is not our rest. So, this is not our rest. We're not looking for to live with great substance as we left there. The only substance we're living for is going to be well, our faith throughout and our works in Yahweh Shah Mashiach, Yahweh Pashim, Yahweh Shah Pashim, Kakutash. It says, Let us therefore labor to enter. In our Hebrews 4 and 9 says, They remain therefore rest for the people of the Most High. For so like for he that is entered into in, into his rest, he have ceased from his own works, as the most I did from his. Let us therefore labor to enter into his rest, lest any man shall fall uh, after the same example of unbelief. And we saw that unbelief. Okay, that we left with great substance, the miracles which we saw. Two thirds had to fucking die in the wilderness because what? Because they had un dis un disbelief. The same thing gonna happen right now. Do and we, when we see these signs of those who are in disbelief by what? by coming up these different doctrines of 400 years is, is America 430 years are in America no I mean it's not the case all praise unto Yahweh, Hashem, 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 Hashem,